So guys, I really, really miss the tribunal. I miss it a lot. I miss it with all my heart and soul. A lot of you guys probably played the game. If you've only started playing in the last year or two, there's a good chance that you haven't even played the game when the tribunal was a thing. So let me just quickly run down what the tribunal is and uh, why I miss it. The tribunal was a program, an initiative program for players wherein they could get a look at chat logs, they could get a look at various things about a game, i.e. the builds, the, uh, what people said, it also told you kind of what elo people were in as well, um, and uh, what their score was, which is obviously, it was hilarious. There is content, people used to make videos about it all the time, the League of Tribunal kind of stuff. I, I made a video on it back in the day as well, based off of the uh, Tribunal Cases. Cowbell had a really popular series called Funny Tribunal Cases. If you if you remember old school League of Legends content creation, then you probably remember that series. It was great. Uh, building upon that, like Riot didn't build upon it. They just got rid of it. I guess because there was a there was a slight RP, IP incentive if you got like a lot of cases correct. There was a rating system, but most of the time people wouldn't really read what it was. They would just hit punish. And I guess it kind of led to being like a fairly useless system. They got, I guess like Riot kind of just got better in terms of like actually automating their system. They just figured that they didn't need the players to be doing it anymore. But I think that's a really bad idea and I, I'll, I'll let you know why I think that is. Okay, so one of my issues I feel with League of Legends is of course farming IP. Now obviously the game, it's, it's a free to play game. It's kind of supposed to be stacked in that way anyway to get you to spend money. And I get that in terms of uh, champions. I understand why the champions would be more expensive and I'm not disputing or even questioning the fact that they should be the, the price they are. I think they're they're perfectly priced. It's like £2.50 to unlock a champion if you want one. But more I'm talking about the rune aspect of things. Now this is like something that can like really highly impact a game. Your runes and masteries. If you go into a game with the wrong runes, you could be in a real spot of shit. Like you could be in a real bad position. You wanted to buy a champion, but instead you like, you have to, f you're forced to buy runes. Otherwise you basically get stomped in every game after you're level 30, unless you want to play with like the really cheap runes that might be like a little bit, a little bit worse than what you're going at, you're, you're wanting. But I think like there could be a real great thing going if the tribunal came back, as well as like something that you can do to like get IP if you're like just bored at work on your work, your lunch break or if you're at school on your whatever you just want to earn like a couple extra IP just read over some cases have a laugh uh, and do that I think it would work perfectly fucking well I, I, I honestly wait, hold on we got Rengar guy coming in here okay he's giving up nice but on top of that the tribunal was the perfect learning tool I feel for how not to act in a game it could teach players how to be a better player through examples of things that you shouldn't be doing. Now obviously like we have the little crappy tooltips that come up when you're in a game. Did you know that 10, that 90% of players who get banned never get banned again? I don't think anybody truly believes that for a second. Maybe, maybe, but I, I seem to be getting people that should be banned many, many times in my games. So either that's like they're talking about the system being crap or you know, just maybe all the reform people are not being put into my rank games. So that's what it is. Nevertheless, with the tribunal, you have a perfect learning program. The language is not the nicest on the on the tribunal. People swear a little bit, but people swear in your rank games and your normal games anyway. So is it really any major fucking deal? If you're watching my video, you probably don't give a fuck about swearing. Oh, I'm actually doing some damage here. She might be in kill range. She isn't because I have no mana. Back in the day. They didn't have the automated system, so the tribunal was pretty much like the main thing that got people banned. If you got mass reported, which people would tend to do, they would just slap punish on you, then uh, you're fucked, basically. Like, they didn't have the robots, they didn't have the technology to do this. But if you had it like where the tribunal doesn't really weigh anything, and it's more of a learning tool, or something just to like idly farm IP in your spare time when you're not at a computer to play League of Legends, that would be a great thing. I think it would be a great thing, it would keep people investing in League of Legends even when they're not at a computer. Just a fucking mobile app would be great. I honestly think it's a really great idea if you could have something handheld with four League of Legends wherein you could actually like get something for your actual account. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, as I say, it wouldn't weigh anything or it might not weigh as much. You might, it might like, you know, if somebody gets like heavily 100% voted in favor of punish, then sure, it could weigh towards it. It could help the robot, the fucking automated system really you know, iron out the kinks. It's, I guess it's kind of like a case of, you know those like really inspirational Facebook videos you see all the time on your timeline? From just like that one friend who shares literally everything they see, where it's like really inspirational and it's like people who did a thing 
like let's say uh, people who made fun of uh, physical disability kids come face to face with someone with physical disabilities and they cry and they learn a lesson in it and then and then they swear to like never do it again they never make fun of anybody for being different ever again kind of like that if you want if you see a bunch of assholes and you see a bunch of assholes getting punished and if you yourself punish a bunch of assholes you're probably far more likely to identify that stroke of like characteristic in yourself a little bit quicker if you can be like wait hold on a second I just fucking banned somebody the other day for saying the line, for saying what I'm about to say. So maybe I should, I don't know, not fucking say that thing. Maybe that would be a good idea. Maybe I should keep my account from getting banned. Maybe that's a fucking good idea. And what do I get for it? Maybe if I get like, maybe I get like 10 IP per, per correct judging or something. Something ridiculous. It doesn't have to be much. It doesn't have to be fucking anything. It could be like 5 IP or 1 IP, but people would still do it because it's something idle that they can do in their spare time. And it's also... It could be pushed as a learning tool. Maybe not the best learning tool, however, because obviously the swearing. But you do have a chat filter, so, you know, all you'd have to be is like, these things in asterisks, they're bad words. So if you're 13 and uh, you're not used to bad words, you might not want to read this. You might not want to. If your if you're, if you're pure uh, Christian ears can't handle uh, the word fuck, then you maybe don't want to watch anything on the tribunal you don't want to read anything on the tribunal but god man i'm just trying to, at this point i'm just trying to come up with excuses man i was like watching some of cal bill's videos recently uh his funny tribunal series if you haven't seen it dude jesus you need to watch it you need to i'll, I'll probably put it in a card up at the top the top right of the screen you can go check it out it's a fucking classic series like the uh wait what we got an issue what up uh it's a classic series i was just watching them back and it just made me realize how much I fucking miss the tribunal, man. And I'm just trying to come up. I was like, okay, I miss the tribunal. I want to talk about why I miss the tribunal. So I need to come up with some reasons for why I actually miss it. And uh, I came up with the whole learning thing. And I think it's pretty decent. Did I just fucking do like no damage? I didn't drop my Q. I didn't drop my W. What the fuck? I was spamming that button and I know I was. What she got? Oh, she got a fucking abyssal? That's not a good item to go first, you silly, silly girl. Statistically inferior item to Morel and Omicron. I'm kinda curious though. Have you guys played when the tribunal was a thing? Cause like, I cannot even remember the last time the tribunal even existed, if I'm honest. I mean, if you guys got banned at any point in the last like, four years, if you were playing, then uh, you probably wouldn't have seen it cause you, if you got banned at all, you weren't allowed. No, no tribunal for you. I don't know. I just feel like there's something, there's something missing that keeps people like invested in League of Legends outside of straight up playing the game. There's obviously LCS, but you're, if you're not like interested in like the actual competitive side of things, then like there isn't a whole lot for you. We've got like mechs versus minions, which is obviously like their board game that just kind of came out recently. That's a step in the right direction. Uh, I think someone told me that they're developing a card game. I actually kind of I'm doing the same thing. I'm coming up with my own silly, crappy version of a card game uh, for League of Legends. It, 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 it is the crappiest prototype ever. There's probably a screenshot on screen for you. It is the worst prototype that has ever existed. It looks it looks awful. The, the rules are very, very crap. Um, but the, the dream is there nonetheless. Wait, hold on. What the fuck's it? Holy shit, dude. I was like, I, I was like, okay, I probably, I'm probably gonna be fine here, actually. The Rengar jump itself won't fuck me up too hard, but no, the, uh, oh god, okay, the, uh, but the, the shockwave certainly did mess me up. Actually, his base is actually mostly Rengar, mostly Rengar. What is, what is this dive? I've got some questions, but I guess stuff like gambling, I think that kind of stuff keeps people invested in the game. Obviously. Only if you're over the age of 18. This is only coming from my personal preference. I gamble sometimes, not a lot obviously, just like like a tenner here and there. But I do know that when I have gambled in the past on like sports or whatever, I do always tend to feel like a little bit more uh, emotionally invested in that thing because there's money on the line. Like it's kind of a natural thing, I guess. But uh, you know, alongside that phone stuff would be great. I don't see why there's not shit like that, if I'm honest. Little, little silly games that people can play. Because we've seen in the past with like other oh shit, dude. 
We've seen in the past with like other content that Riot's made, like Cho'Gath Eats the World, the uh, the Blitzcrank game where like he has to pull a bunch of things. Riot have made like fully fledged games, like good games. Like I know they're called Riot Games, even though they only have one fucking game, but they are capable of making really fucking good things. And like pretty much everything they do, it exudes fucking quality. Their animations that they produce are great, even though it's like a team of like fucking 200 Chinese people that are making it in a fucking animation sweatshop somewhere. Still really great fucking animation, everything they do. Um, the, uh, the the little crappy Flash games that they, they only put up for a week and then they pull it down so nobody can ever play it again. They're brilliant, they're fantastic. I did like, I fucking loved the Blitzcrank game. On top of God knows how much other fucking shit they produced. It's, it's always incredible work. And like, it's just a case of like, if they're not gonna do it, no, 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 ah! I'm, dude, I'm so dead, dude. That fucking curtain, no, it wasn't curtain cut, I don't know. The thing is, like, obviously, maybe I'm just biased because playing this game is my job. But I want this game and this company to last for as long as possible. Um, so I would like them to start branching out very hard into as much things as possible. Maybe that's just me, though. Obviously, I'm not saying create an entire new video game, but, like, you know, there's an entire mobile net, there's an entire, like, the biggest market on the planet is mobile gaming. You know, little phone app, tribe, you know, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Link it with your account, get some cash money, some IP, get yourself better runes, teach players how to play the goddamn game. Like, I mean, I know we don't really have much of a tutorial, but, like, we do have a tutorial, but, I mean, God, God knows how fucking outdated it is at this point. I have not, I have not looked at the tutorial in many, many years. Back when I used the tutorial, it was like Ash, and you had to buy a Thormiel on Ash, and it was like, has the person who made this tutorial played League of Legends ever? It's not so much about teaching them the mechanics of the game, it's more just like, for I guess for like a lot of people, um, games like this, games like League of Legends, back when League was released, uh, League of Legends was kind of a lot of people's first PC online experience. Uh, it wasn't like, obviously a lot of people might have been like World of Warcraft, some people might have been RuneScape, shit like that, but some, for quite a lot of people, it was League of Legends, and we can't really blame people for not knowing how to act online. I mean, if it's just like kids, if nobody's like showing examples of how not to act, apart from just saying, don't be an asshole, then, uh, you know, they may not learn, but if, if there's an incentive to learn, so if you like, you incentivize learning what toxic, uh, toxic like examples are, then I think people would learn a lot faster. I think people would learn a lot faster, they'd be able to identify it faster, and most importantly, they'd be able to identify it in themselves a little bit faster. I am one in fucking three, dude. I actually want to die. Am I fucking... I swear to God, Brom, you're cock-blocking me to the ends of the earth right now. I fucking hate Brom. I fucking hate Brom, dude. I fucking hate Brom. Yeah, nevertheless, that is pretty much all I wanted to talk about regarding it. It's kind of a stupid video. I, I tend to do videos like this a lot, though. You guys know this. Where and I just talk about a fucking... A topic, maybe regarding League of Legends, where I'm just like, Hey, I missed this thing. Or, hey, this would be a good idea, Riot. Please hire me as your I, your creative director. Um, and I will come up with a bajillion good ideas. That will not cost the company millions and millions of dollars. I I am an adult who is independent, who, mom, whose mother does not still make dinner for him. But yeah, I kind of want to talk a little bit about autofill in the future as well. If you have any other topics, I would really love if you would uh, drop them in the comments below. If you want to hear me talk about something, these are just going to be fillers in between my other series, as they always have been, as they always will be. Uh, I like talking. I don't really like the sound of my own voice, so which is ironic. Because I like talking, but I don't like listening to myself, because... Uh, probably similar to a lot of you guys, I can't understand what the fuck I'm saying half the time. It's the accent, I'm sorry, but nevertheless, I have to live with it. As, as, much, as much as people tell me that I should probably change my accent or work on my accent, was born with it, or maybe not. Maybe I, I, I didn't, I wasn't born with it, I learned it. I inherited it from my, uh, from my upbringing. My very lower class upbringing. Yeah, gotta deal with that one. But nevertheless, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This really... This really non-scripted, probably very unfunny, uneventful video. I'll see you tomorrow.
and I maybe, if I get any kills in the rest of this game, I might throw them in. If I get any kills, if this video just ends, then I didn't get any good kills. If, it, if, I, if there's more clips, so then I did. So, here, let's go with the clips. Or goodbye. Dude, I swear to fucking god. How many of these are gonna fucking dead man's plate?